What's up guys, Xavier Wills here for Desktop Bodybuilding and we are back once again with another video and we're talking about Big Rami, Mumdu El Zbaye, and he is not on the competitor list so far for the 2019 Tampa Pro, which is coming up next weekend. Now, it's pretty early that they've actually released a competitor's list, which I'm impressed with, like bravo I for B for doing that, because normally it takes an extra few days for the initial competitor's list to come out but it's a pretty stacked competitors list as we go through it. And I want to mention as well, uh, Dexter Jackson is not on this list currently, but he is competing. We know he's competing and uh, these guys can still register for the show. So we'll go through some of the names that are on this list. And obviously, as I said, Big Rami is not on the list, but I'm going to talk about what he might be doing and what his plans might be as to why his face might be looking a little bit more gaunt at the moment. So some of the names on this list for big names, Charles Griffin, He'll be looking for Olympic qualification, but he'll have to win this, which will be a pretty tough show to win. Lucas Ozladil is on the list, and he's right up there in the points. Uh, we've got Milan Sedek. He's also got a decent amount of points, but he'd have to place quite well to qualify here. Silvio Samuel. So he obviously came back in the 212s. He's placed top six or seven in the Olympia before, uh, and he was incarcerated, and he's making his comeback here. Uh, I don't know if this is his comeback to the Opens, or I think this might be his actual second show in the Opens uh, this year. Luke Sando, now he has to be coming in as one of the favorites. Him and Dexter Jackson are the top two. And then you've got Keith Williams as well. So a pretty damn good lineup. And I'm obviously going to have Dexter added to the list and possibly Big Rami, but I'm highly doubting it. And I'll tell you guys why right now. And the reason is because Victor Martinez has been promoting this uh, Victor Martinez Legends Championships National Qualifier Show. And this is coming up on the 24th of August, and they have some special guests there. So you've got Victor Martinez, then you've got Big Rami, Logan Franklin. So Big Rami is a guest at this show. I'm assuming he's going to guest pose. It doesn't say that necessarily. Victor Martinez says four weeks out from the Victor Martinez Legends uh, Championships, uh, national qualifier and registrations are open. Buy your tickets now. Link in bio. Come see the future legends in the making. Come and meet our special guests, Big Rami, uh, Jacqueline NYC, Logan Franklin. The best reason to stay in shape all summer. So this is obviously an appearance uh, Big Rami is going to be making in New York City. So I should sure don't know about the city, but it's in New York at least anyway. And it's sort of leading me to think that, okay, Big Ram is getting in guest posing shape for this, and then maybe post Olympia, he might do some Olympia shows. Now, this is obviously, I'm just speculating, so I don't know anything for fact here, but I think if he was doing the Tampa, I think he would have been on the competitors list by now because, you know, most of the guys are, 17 guys are. Dexter, I'm not surprised he's not because I'm sure he's just like, ah, no matter what, no matter how late I submit my um, entries, that I'm going to be able to compete, so he's all good, but... I think he would be on that list, to be honest with you guys, and he's not right now, but he could be added. No doubt he could be added, but I don't see why you'd leave that mystery because he hasn't said one week out or anything like that anywhere. I think he's just not saying anything because he probably wants to keep some sponsors happy and they've probably told him, don't tell people you're not competing because let's keep the hype and let's keep people hitting your page and wondering if you are. So he's training quite hard right now, so I think he's preparing for something. Could it just be the guest posing or could he actually be competing in maybe some post-Olympia shows or even the Tampa? Who actually knows, guys? And do you think there's any chance? Now, people have suggested this. I don't agree with it. I don't think he should get a special invite to the Olympia because he's an active current competitor. I mean, Kai Green's a little bit different. He hasn't competed in three and a half years now, which people actually fail to forget. It's been, I think, 2016 Arnold, so that's three and a half years. So, or is that two and a half years? Might be two and a half years. Don't quote me. No, that's fair enough. Um, so I understand why Kai Green would get an invite to the 2019 Mr. Olympia. And plus, he's a massive draw card. But Big Rami, he competed last year's Olympia. If they give a special invite to Big Rami, then why shouldn't they give one to William Bonac, Brandon Curry, all these other guys, even if they miss top five in the Olympia. So I, I, I don't see why they should. But the Olympia lineup has been smashed with guys missing the Olympia. Kai Green... Is not competing by the looks of it. Phil Heath's not competing by the looks of it. Hardy Chupin probably won't get a visa into the US by the looks of it. Um, who else are we missing? Big Rami, probably going to miss. We've got Nathan Diasha. He should be definitely able to compete. I've actually talked to Nathan, so that should be all good. What's going on with him? Josh Lenardowitz possibly not competing as well due to some health issues. So the Olympia's been smashed. So if they were ever going to give a special invite to anyone that's an active pro, 
I think it would be big Rami this year because, I mean, the Olympia line has been smashed and he would definitely add some intrigue. But what do you guys think? Should big Rami get a special invite? Do you think he's competing in the Tampa Pro or any post-Olympia shows? Let me know in the comments, guys. And what do you think about this Tampa Pro lineup? Because I'm thinking it's looking pretty damn good. And if you guys uh, want to have a look at that, here's the 212 lineup as well. There's some good names across this too. We've got Zane Watson, Samir Trudy. Ben White is coming back to the 212s. Uh, John Jewett, uh, Kim John, uh, sorry, Jun Ho Kim. And yeah, a bunch of names there. Wendell Floyd, Charles Dixon. Good lineups, and I assume that's going to be across all classes as well, because this is the last qualifier. It's, in terms of the pro bodybuilding, it is. I know. I don't know about the other divisions. I'm going to check that out. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for all the support and love on the videos. If you like these videos, hit me with a thumbs up. That'd be greatly appreciated. And also comment, like I said, and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet, and hit that notification bell button, and you'll be notified of every video that goes up from Desktop Bodybuilding. Anyway, guys, for Xavier Wills, Desktop Bodybuilding. We are out.